So uh, the players at the very beginning get this, and this is the meta puzzle overall. So they're trying to get three parts, uh, the, the battery, the uh, wires, and the base. And this is the thing that's gonna let them get into the, the, final, the final safe. So when they walk in very early on, right away they find one piece of the, one piece of the meta puzzle. This is the, this is the first piece. In addition to that, at the start of the room one, there are two simultaneous puzzles that they can be working on. The first one, and there are a total of three puzzles, roughly three puzzles in this room. Um, so the first one is just a quick uh, seek and find as they explore the room. They find this underneath the rug. They find this behind this pedestal. And these are the heroes and they have some numbers here which they can't decode yet. At the same time, so that's, that's a bit of a thing that they can do near the beginning. Um, so a bit of seek and find. I'll put these on the rug for right now. Uh, they also are hearing this radio. There's a looping radio. Protected us from in order. Starting off, remember that time the armadillo logged the rapscallion site? <laughs> you really had a bone to pick. So it goes through and it tells the players, if you're listening closely, the order that the trophies should go onto this table. On top of this, on top of this shelf, there is an outline, a square outline for uh, where they should go. And you know the order based on the audio cue that's playing looping. And there are magnets in the base of these that allow the players to, once they have them in the right position, open this up. And there's a little instruction push up. And, and if I got the order right, which I might have the order wrong, or maybe they're in the wrong. These are reverse three. <laughs> OK. Yes, and in fact, not, now that I did it, that you can feel a, a little bit of just a very gentle click. And then as they push up, then this unlocks. And they find another, that's, that's often a ooh, ah moment. Uh, they find another of these uh, cards and then they also find the decoder for the cipher. Uh, I'll set this aside. So that's one puzzle that could be going on simultaneously, these trophies. Another puzzle that could simultaneously be going on and being solved is that around the room there are shapes uh, painted on the wall and in color. So there's a, uh, there's a blue triangle here, there's a uh, green hexagon, there's a red square, and there's a uh, yellow circle on that wall. And players notice fairly quickly that there's this uh, uh, lock right here, and these colors on this lock match the, the colors on the shapes. Uh, quite quite nicely actually and so players sometimes think oh uh, circles have zero sides but in fact we declared that circles have one side and if you then type in the code um, the lock comes open and players discover the fourth and final uh, card that they need and then they also get uh, they also get this note and the note has uh, a little bit of story text here about uh, Iron Armadillo, and it has a bit uh, ripped off on the bottom, and, and again, more of this code. So if they solve this first, if they unlock this before they unlock the shelf, they still get these, uh, these code numbers. Once they have these numbers, and they have the numbers on these cards, then they can exit the room, and that is uh, solved through this uh, decoding. And this is glued in here. Players can't pick it up. And the code is iron will. And when they come up to the wall, uh, they can boop, say iron will. <laughs> and then they get a nice sound effect. This is a magnetic lock and they're in to the next room.